Geraldine, the Music Mouse. Geraldine had never heard music before. Noises, yes. Many noises, the voices of people, the slamming of doors, the barking of dogs, the rushing of water, the meows of cats in the courtyard, and of course, the soft peeping of mice. But music was never there. Then one morning, in the pantry of the empty house where Geraldine lived, she discovered an enormous piece of Parmesan cheese, the largest she had ever seen. Eagerly, she took a little bite from it. It was delicious, but how could she be able to take it to her secret hideout in the barn? She ran to her friends who lived next door and told them about her discovery. If you help me carry it to my hideout, she said, I'll give each of you a big piece. Her friends, who loved cheese, happily agreed. Let's go, they said, and off they went. It's enormous, it's gigantic, it's immense, it's fantastic, they shouted with joy when they saw the piece of cheese. They pushed and pulled and tugged and finally they managed to carry it to Geraldine's hideout. And there, Geraldine climbed to the very top of the cheese. She dug her little teeth into it and pulled away crumb after crumb, chunk after chunk. As her friends carried away the cheese tidbits, Geraldine peered in amazement at the hole she had gnawed. There, she saw the shapes of two enormous Ears, cheese ears. And soon, as her friends were gone, she went back to work again, nibbling away at the cheese as fast as she could. When she was halfway through, Geraldine climbed down to have a look at the forms she had freed. She could hardly believe what she saw. The ears were those of a giant mouse, still partly hidden of solid cheese. To its puckered lips, it held a flute. Geraldine gnawed and gnawed until finally uncovered the entire mouse. Then she realized that the flute was really the tip of the mouse's tail. Astonished, exhausted, and a little frightened, Geraldine stared at the cheese statue with the dimming of the last daylight, she fell asleep. Suddenly, she was awakened by some strange sounds. They seemed to come from the direction of the mouse's flute. She jumped to her feet. As it grew darker, the sounds became clearer and more melodious until they seemed to move lightly through the air like invisible strings of silver and gold. Never had Geraldine heard anything so beautiful. Music, she thought. This must be music. She listened all through the night until the first glow of dawn filtered through the dusty window panes. But... As the cheese mouse was slowly bathed in the light, the music became softer until it stopped altogether. Play, play, Geraldine begged. Play some more. Will it ever play again, Geraldine thought as she gobbled up some of the crumbs that lay around. When the next evening approached, it brought the answer to her question. The music began faintly at dusk and lasted until the break of day. So... Night after night, the cheese flutist played for Geraldine. She learned to recognize the melodies and even the daylight they lingered in her ears. Then one day she met her friends on the street. They were desperate. 
Geraldine, they said, we have no more food, and there's none to be found anywhere. You must share your cheese with us. But that's not possible, Geraldine shouted. Why, asked the others angrily. Because, be, because, because it's music. Her friends looked at Geraldine surprised. What is music, they asked all together. For a moment, Geraldine stood deep in thought. Then she took a deep backward, solemnly step backward, solemnly lifted the tip of her tail to her puckered lips and took a deep breath and blew. She blew hard. She puffed, she peeped, she tweeted, she screeched. Her friends laughed until their hungry tummies hurt. And then a long, soft, beautiful whistle came from Geraldine's lips. One of the melodies of the cheese flute echoed in the air. The little mice held their breath in amazement. Other mice came to hear the miracle. When the tune came to an end, Gregory, the oldest of the group, whispered, If this is music, Geraldine, you are right. We cannot eat that cheese. No, said Geraldine joyfully. Now we can eat the cheese because now the music is in me. And they all followed Geraldine to the barn. And while Geraldine whistled the happiest of tunes, they ate cheese to their tummies content.